Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to squash or combine a couple of local get messages before you push them up. This could be very handy to do if you just want to temporarily create a couple of commits locally, just to act as save points to maybe avoid having to either create a whole bunch of different comments or maybe copy paste some files. And all the example commands that we're gonna go over now are listed on my site. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. It just happens to be a blog post with a couple of examples. But the basic idea here is I just have an example repo for us to work with here. Uh, there's nothing fancy going on here. All I basically did was create a new get repo. I initialized a couple of files here and I commit those files as separate commits commit messages. But now, you know, let's say that you are working on some feature in development and you decide that, you know what, I would like to have all of these three commit messages here actually just be one commit message. In this case, let's roll these three up into this one here. And, you know, let's not worry about keeping the individual specific commit messages for each one. You just want to kind of merge or squash things down into one commit. And we're actually going to do this without using merge or without having to do a rebase. Um, we're actually technically not going to be squashing it, air quotes. Uh, we're going to be using get reset here. But let's say, let's go back to this log actually, and, and let's say that we want to, you know, again, just squash all these three down into one commit here. So the first thing you'll want to do is figure out like what is the commit that you want to squash into. In this case, I want all three of them to end up being in this commit here. So I am going to just copy this get commit SHA. And then I just have that on my clipboard there. And we can just run a get reset and we're gonna do a soft reset here. And it's very important to understand that doing a soft reset is not going to mess up your working tree. Basically all the files on disk that you have are not going to be modified at all. It's only going to affect uh, some pointers in Git. So we'll pop in this, this git commit SHA here. And also very important that we put the caret at the end. I've actually done some videos in the past about interactive rebasing. So you may wanna watch that if you're more interested in like, you know, why do we need to put a carrot there and stuff like that? So I'll leave a link to that one in the card. But once we do that, then we just reset history here. And again, local history. And if we do a get log now, notice how uh, things are pointed to the initial commit here. Our other commits are gone. And uh, they're not technically gone, but then this sort of kind of are. And uh, for, at least for where we're at here with this reset. But if you run a get status, now we can see that... All three of those files that used to be commits now, they're just staged here, ready to be commit. And uh, now we can just do a git commit here. And let's just say like, you know, we wanted to roll those things up into a new commit that just says like something like, you know, add files or whatever it happens to be, right? Um, this idea of splitting things out or combining git commit messages, it's really up to you, right? If, you, if you're using these as temporary save points, you want to get rid of the uh, older commits there. But you know, if you're creating something like a user registration system, you may decide that you want to have a couple of permanent commits, right? Like maybe like add password reset or, you know, add uh, user sign up or something like that as separate commits instead of one. But in any case, like I don't want to get too deep in a side topic there. But, you know, basically takeaway is sometimes it's good to have multiple commits. Sometimes it's good to have one. But, uh, you know, if you're just blowing up temporary ones, of course, we'll just want the one there. But in this case, let's add our new commit here for add files. And if we do run a get log now, we can see that we just have this one commit here. We essentially squash them into one commit, even though technically not squashing. But if we take a look here now at this, or technically if we just run a git show, which is going to give us uh, just a show on the, on the latest commit there, we can see though, we do have all three files here. So, you know, all those commit messages that we had before, we didn't lose them, they're there. I mean, in this case, all I did with these was just add a new file here and you can still see they're on disk as well. Yeah, you know, they're just empty files and didn't put any content in there. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one on how to very quickly squash a couple of commits into one commit locally. Again, you wouldn't want to necessarily do this after you've pushed things up, but this could be a very good thing to do. You know, if you're actively working on a feature, maybe doing some contract work, working with a couple other developers on a team, doesn't really matter, right? Um, but before you push your stuff up, you just want to have a couple of local commits. There you go. Sorry for the hard cut there. I just had to sneeze about seven times in a row. Pretty sure you didn't want to hear that one. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you are going to be using this strategy. Is there a better way to do this? Potentially, you could totally do an interactive rebase and squash things there, but that is a totally different use case if you wanted to uh, keep the original git commit messages that actually could be very useful if you had other people contribute those messages and you didn't want to lose those authors but you know maybe we can do a future video about that one anyways on that note if you like the video please please give it a thumbs up because it really does help in the end thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next video